In the age of austerity, senior bankers laughing about public funded bailouts isn't a good look. But that's exactly what's happened in Ireland. It sparked outrage there and now also in Germany. Caught on leaked recordings, the bank executives boast about fooling regulators and poke fun at the Germans. Tracy Kirkland reports. What sounds like a well-worn joke involving two Irish bankers and wads of cash has become an international scandal. Wind the clock back to 2008 and the GFC was rocking the Irish banks. Buckling under bad loans, the Anglo-Irish bank was on its knees, begging for a government bailout. But behind closed doors, leaked phone conversations revealed top executives John Bowe and Peter Fitzgerald mocking and manipulating. Mr Bowe explains how he asked for 7 billion euros. And what, how did you arrive at the seven? I just, the stronger I say, picked it out of my arse, you know. Later, John Bowe admitted... This is seven, uh, seven bit widget. Yeah. So, so, so it's breached, it's breached off we can pay you back, which is never. <laughs> <laughs> the strategy here is you pull them in, you get them to, to write a big cheque, and they have to keep, they have to support their money, you know. Just days later, Irish banks were handed a blanket guarantee. Initially, it seemed to work, but alarm bells were rung from the UK and Germany about their deposits flooding into Irish banks. Days later, former Anglo-Irish bank boss David Drum took a call from John Bowe. This time, Mr Drum is heard joking about the increase in German deposits. Uh, you're abusing that guarantee. You're paying too much in Germany, I heard now as well. But <laughs> the problem was the bank wasn't allowed to attract foreign deposits by publicising the government's guarantee. So I'm just saying to I'm just saying to guys, look, just be smart. Yeah. Don't be stupid. Get it in. Don't be overtly pumping it so that somebody can poke you. But, yeah. but we want to get the, the, the liquidity ratios up. Correct. You know? Correct and right. So, okay, so just keep nursing along. We will. Uh, now, I have. Sorry, go on. Back to Rachel. That's what I really meant. Get, yeah. the, get the fuck money in. Get it in. That's right, just do it. But what the Irish bailout became was a shambles, eventually costing the taxpayer around 30 billion euro. Now the news has reached Germany, prompting shock and disgust. The usually conservative Frankfurt Allgemeine newspaper editorial thunders. Take a bag and put in it the management of the former Anglo-Irish Bank and the then Dublin government and regulators. Then beat the bag with a stick until the wailing becomes unbearable. The bank executives exposed by the tape say they regret the tone of their conversations but deny they tried to mislead the central bank. But after five years of austerity, there's little sympathy in Ireland. If I go into Don's store and steal to feed my family, I end up before the courts. If bankers deliberately defraud the state, boast about it, laugh about it, boast about their meetings with ministers, it'll be okay. And no laughing matter, Ireland now may have a more difficult job securing EU funding to recapitalise the surviving banks. And we win the trust bucket. There are people, a lot of things people say about banks, are they this, are they that, they trust us, they give us all their information and I think that puts us in very good stead.